Alright guys, so it's about 7.18. It's 8 minutes into shooting light, but it's still just a tad bit light, not light enough for me to go in yet. I'm going back up here into this clear cut. I could probably go up there right now, but I'm just going to give it a few more minutes just to brighten up and make sure if I do see something, I can properly identify it as a shooter buck. Because sometimes you only have a few seconds to make a decision, so. <clears throat> yeah, we had a little bit of a walk in here, but got in here in the dark and waited it out. So we're going to head up there and check it out and hopefully get a big buck down. All right, guys. Um, so, just got up here. It's uh, 7:30. Hiked into the clear cut. Well, I hiked in at uh, well, I hiked in probably about 6:30. Got to the base of the clear cut, down into the timber, at uh, about 7:10. That's when shooting light is. But it was a little dark in the clear cut, so I decided to wait before I go in because I didn't want to. I didn't want to push anything out and uh so i waited till about 7 25 i get in the clear cut and about 50 yards up there's a little knob a doe staring at me and she turns on and hightails it back and so i creep up creep up there and i come up come up over that little hill and about she was about 25 yards and then the buck was about 50 yards and so first instinct i could see the horns I could see up above his ears, pretty good little buck. So I pulled my gun up and I was, ooh, I was shaking like a leaf. My crosshairs were, and so I took a deep breath. I took a second and there was a stump to my right, about five yards. So I crouched down, slowly got down, got to that stump, got a good rest, got my breathing right. And uh, I put it right behind the front shoulder. This is actually the exit wound right here. I shot it right behind the front shoulder, dropped in his tracks, and it's, I don't even have my watch on, but it's about 7.45 now. So, the work begins, and we're going to cut this thing up, and that's a wrap on the 2019 Blacktail, October 22nd, I believe. Could be wrong. I think it's the 22nd, though, but that's my buck. So, and they were rutting, guys. Stay tuned. He smells big body deer, but stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, I say this every time like and subscribe, hit the bell, follow us. We're at 77 subscribers right now, and I'm going to try and I want to get to 100 by December 1st. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you know anybody that likes these videos, uh, let them know. I'm just having fun, I'm an amateur guy. Nothing special about me. Kill a lot of ducks. Kill a lot of deer. But you guys could be out here doing this too. So, stay tuned, guys. We're going to get this thing cut up and, uh, yeah, go eat some breakfast before 11. look pretty easy. Alright guys, so this is, so we shot this deer in the back country, made a few miles to pack out and it was a pretty big deer. So we ended up quartering it out, getting the back strap, tenderloins, neck meat, and uh, 
we actually did the gutless method and so if you're deep in the back country you can do that you know some people may not like it but you can't make everybody happy but that's just how that's just how we do it sometimes and so this is the anatomy I don't even know if that's the right word to say but this is how when you shoot a deer you got your two front quarters up here you got your neck meat your back strap your tenderloins and your hind quarters and so <clears throat> today I shot this yesterday yesterday morning and I had it hanging today but I'm gonna t take the time today really wipe this stuff down I got some white vinegar you can get it at your local Walmart Safeway ride it wherever you want to go and just real simple you just dab it on a towel wipe the meat down make sure to uh, pick off all the extra hair you find when you're cutting it up you really try and be really conscious about it to not get the hair on it but you're not perfect there's gonna be hair on it so that's why you take the time right now to do that and the vinegar just helps clean it up don't be afraid to be generous with generous with it either and if you see hair while you're going just pick it off so after this I'm gonna cut up some of this back strap you're gonna want to take the silver skin off but I'm gonna cut some of that up and cook that up for you guys and show you guys how to do that at least how I do it stay tuned I just want to say a big thank you to my brother I went out and shot this thing by myself and I, uh, I called my brother up and without hesitation he, he turned around from on his way to work and he came out and helped me so we we're out of the woods before noon I shot it at 7:28, I think we were out of there before noon so that was pretty good If you guys have any questions just comment below let me know comments concerns whatever you got let me hear it and when I'm hanging this I got game bags for all the meat so nothing's exposed to the bugs or anything Before we gutted this thing out with the fur and everything, I'd say that this deer was over over 200 pounds easily. The hide and the guts and the head and everything. Like I said, don't be afraid to use quite a bit. Get in there. Make sure it's all cleaned up. I'm only going to let this hang for another day or two. I'll probably cut this up Friday. It's Wednesday right now. So. Right, moving on. Alright guys. So now we have our back strap right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut this silver skin off real quick. I'm just uh, working my way down the side of it. Kind of pulling a little bit as I go.
I think I cut this up into a chunk we can work with. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it just like that. We'll just trim off a little bit more from over here. Take that off as well, but we're gonna take a chunk. Just like that. Cut this little bit of skin off right here. square that up right here all right so now we're ready to cut that into steaks move you guys up a little bit everyone's different and how juicy and thick they want their steaks but we're just gonna go real thin for today just like that So these are relatively thin, but we can make some thick ones too. But all right, let's bring it over to the grill. But first, I'm gonna bring over some seasoning for you guys. So, oh shit. So we got a little bit of garlic salt, and then we also have a, uh, it's like a uh, carne asada seasoning. We're going to sprinkle some of that on some of these. And then we'll put, I'm trying to get on both sides, get it real good and seasoned. Wow, look at that. That's what happens when you know where your meat comes from. We got some thick slabs. Those will take a little bit longer, but. Okay, and then we're gonna put some garlic salt on the other ones. All right, let's bring them over to the grill. All right, guys, so people, people do this a lot of different ways, but today I'm gonna cook some bacon first. Then I'm gonna cook it, cook the, the deer steak in that bacon grease. Gives it a little bit of flavor. And then you can have have your steaks and eat some bacon with it. So here we go. I'm cooking it on medium high. But I, I might turn it up just a tad bit. So I'm gonna cook this bacon first. And then we'll get to these steaks. I was saying just a second ago, when you know where your meat comes from, it's pretty cool because this is cause this is some good looking meat. But yeah, so we're gonna cook this bacon, and uh, then we'll get to the deer steak. All right, guys. So bacon's done. Depending on how crispy or you want it, but we're gonna take this off. We're gonna set this over here. We're gonna wipe off some of that grease. Turn it down just a little bit. Let that cool down for a bit. All right, guys, I think we're about ready. So I'm gonna put these first steaks in here. You you want to cook them for you don't want to cook them for too long. That's the one thing about game, especially if you're gonna be cooking duck, is you don't want to overcook it.
So right now we got it on medium high. Now get ready to turn these. I'm actually going to go ahead and turn it down to medium. It's a little hot, but it's doing okay. But when you're cooking deer steaks, the number one thing is not to overcook it. I'm going to go ahead and put the big boy in there. That's going to take a little bit longer, but it'll work. So I'm only going to give these little guys about another 20 seconds in order to pull those out. <clears throat> it's, uh, eh, we can get a little longer. It's not quite done yet. But that's what it looks like right now. Flip these one more time. Give this guy a flip. Okay, I'm gonna pull these off now. So that's those guys right there. Give that another flip. Head up to the fire. Look at that. Still a little pink.
we're gonna let that meat sit for a little bit and we're gonna cut it up. All right, so it's kind of cheating, but I'm gonna take this bowl of potatoes. It's got three little potatoes, put some slices into them, put some water in it. I'm gonna put that into the microwave for about five minutes and cook those up for you, make some mashed potatoes. All right, well, let's go over and go ahead and cut up this meat right here. All right, guys, that's what we're working with. All right, guys, so I, I just took the potatoes out. I put, I put some milk in them and I mashed them up. We're gonna add those to the plate. And take that. And there you have it. So we have our mashed potatoes, bacon, some backstrap. We're gonna add some uh, some uh, sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce, and I am gonna have lunch. So thanks for watching, guys. And have a good day.